I'm Danny, and today I will be doing the 7 Deadly Sins book tag. I don't think I was tagged by anybody, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Number one is Greed, my most expensive book and my cheapest book. For my most expensive book, I'm going to go with A City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. This was $20 before tax when I bought this at Target, and to date this is the most I've spent on a book, and I think it's probably my biggest book. Okay, I'm going to have two books for least expensive because if we're going with like books that I have bought myself the most least expensive would be Nobody's Princess. But I would also go with Poison Study by Mary V. Schneider because this one was a birthday present so it was free technically. So depending on which one you're going with, I bought or someone else bought for me, depends on which book I would choose. Next is Wrath, an author I have a love-hate relationship with and I'm going to go with Jill Wolfson, the author of Furious. Now, the second book of Jill Wolfson's that I read, I can't remember what the first book is called, but the storylines are always fantastic and the plots are always pretty good, but it's like when you get to the endings, it just, it's just not there. I can't think of what the other book was called. I know it was a mythology retelling, like this one is about the Furies and like this, just like that book, this book was great, the idea of it was great, this, pretty much the story was pretty great, but when you got towards the ending, it just kind of flopped. Number three is Gluttony, a book or series that you have devoured over and over again with no shame. And I'm going to go with the Fifty Shades of Grey series, because now it is a series instead of a trilogy. So that series is, I have read them over, I think I've read them at least four times at least four times since they came out, which considering they came out quite a few years ago isn't that much, but I I have no shame about reading them constantly over and over again. Next is Sloth, a book that you are too lazy to read. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily lazy, it's just that this this book that I've chosen, when you start to get into it, it's, it's pretty good. It's not like it didn't suck you in, but it's pretty good. And uh, I imagine it does get better because I'm still towards the beginning on it and I've tried to read it when I'm reading it I'm I'm really into the story and then for some reason whether it be because I have to go to work or because I have to do something but when I come back and I go to pick it up it's kind of like I don't want to keep reading it I want to read something else and that could be because I'm still slightly in my reading slump or it could just be because of the book I don't know honestly but that is The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson it is like I said it, it is good it's not completely enthralling like some of the other books I've read or like such as Throne of Glass and this one incorporates a lot more religion in it than I'm used to in a fantasy book but it's still good it is still good it's just for some reason when I come back to it I just don't want to pick it up sometimes and uh, let's see right right now at this point I am on right now at this point I'm on page 60 so like I said, I'm not really that far into it. I imagine if once I get a little deeper, it'll probably be more enthralling, but I guess this would kind of be my lazy read. Although it's not truly just laziness, just disinterest, I guess. Number five is Pride, a book that you believe makes you look smart. I can't honestly say I have a book like this because, I mean, usually when I'm reading a book, the covers aren't, my paperbacks, they usually aren't so great. My hard covers, I never read them with the dust jacket on, especially outside the house. So I can't say I have a book that makes me look smart. I think reading in general kind of makes people maybe think you're smart, but I can't say I have a book that makes me look smart, so I'm going to skip this one. Number six is Lust. Two characters, one who is physically attractive and the other one who is mentally attractive. I'm kind of stuck on two characters because they're both mentally and physically attractive. So I am between Prince Rowan from the Throne of Glass series and Lord Tamlin from A Court of Thorns and Roses. I honestly don't know which one I can pick for which because they're both mentally attractive because they're both very very smart. They've been alive hundreds of years so they have all sorts of knowledge and then they're also both physically attractive so I honestly just can't pick so I'm choosing them both for both categories. And number seven is Envy, a book you want as a gift. At this point in time I don't think there is a book coming out with any time soon. Ooh, I know. Lady Midnight. I would like Lady Midnight in a hardcover as a gift and maybe even signed. Well, that is my seven deadly sins and I will link anyone I want to tag below. So if you want to see if you were tagged, I check the description and I will see you guys next week. Bye!